The B-24 bombers' weapon improvements that turned them into more potent anti-submarine aircraft are covered in this video. Early World War II U-boat combat engagement lessons necessitated the alterations. Because of its long-range cruise capability and good air-to-sea kill scores, the B-24 bomber was selected for maritime patrol. The weaponry was intended for air-to-air -air combat, not air-to-sea submarine combat. The Germans modified their U-boat Allied aircraft engagement tactics in 1943. This pushed the Americans towards maritime patrol planes, be equipped with depth bombs, efficient air-to-sea strafing weapons, and long-range low-altitude searches. The German Submarine Command, which switched from submerging submarines to remaining on the surface and engaging in combat with assaulting Allied aircraft, had an impact on this development. There was a flaw in the B-24 bomber models that needed to be fixed in order to provide more potent forward-facing air to sea strafing weaponry. 30 B-24s were supplied in August 1943 and they were equipped with twin 50 caliber powered-driven machine guns. The deck personnel of U-boats were successfully targeted by the B-24 front machine guns. The odds are in the aircraft's favor when it comes to submarine versus aircraft combat. Fire from planes is more precise than that from submarines, and U-boat deck guns have a hard time hitting B-24s that move quickly. Bombers 50 caliber fire can harm submarine deck personnel. Armor and more forward-facing machine guns would aid in stifling U-boat retaliation. German submarine strategy shifted from burying U.S. anti-submarine command to attacking Allied planes. The updated B-24s were built with more forward-facing weaponry to counter these techniques. The bomber's nose turret was replaced, and the compartment housing the bombardier gunners was enlarged to provide more protection and visibility. A gunner will be assigned to the front cannons, while the bombardier will perform two duties. The bombardier compartment has been fitted with additional armor plates. The B-24 bomber's cabin has been modified with new windows that provide 120 degrees of forward view. An August 1943 photo shows the improved anti-submarine prototype next to the regular B-24D aircraft. Low-altitude bomb sites and Norton bomb sites can accommodate the bomber. The upper turret may be removed and swapped out for an astrodome. The B-24 subhunters will move more quickly despite their greater weight. The installation of a motorized nose turret equipped with 50 caliber U-boat strafing machine guns is the biggest change. The B-24 will fly low over the U-boats using upgraded weaponry and armor, including conning towers and deck guns, to silence them. The navigator could bring a single machine gun to bear and the improved weaponry and armor will assure success in attacking surface U-boats since the older versions had little forward-facing firepower. Consolidated Aircraft Company created the B-24 prototype, which became the PB-4Y1 variant. It was a patrol bomber. The Erco model 250 ball turret, which was controlled by a handheld controller, took the place of its nose turrets. While the bombardier managed the bomb location beneath the nose turret, the gunner maneuvered in tandem with the turret. The B-24 prototype became the PB-4Y1 model. PB stands for patrol bomber. The 4 indicates it's the fourth bomber design. The Y is a manufacturer, which is consolidated aircraft, and the Dash 1 represent it's the first model. The bombardier is located below the nose turret and is responsible for operating the bomb site. The Mark 9 reflector gun sight is used to track the air to sea targets. The turrets can traverse in an arc 70 degrees down and 85 degrees up and 80 degrees left and right on an azimuth path. Half-inch thick steel armor panels, quarter-inch thick steel armor, and 1.5-inch thick laminated bullet-resistant glass make up the armor transparencies. Ammunition for 1,200 rounds may be stored in the turrets. The Mark 9 reflector gun side employs an illuminated pepper sight with a 35mm red-lighted ring and a bigger 70 mil red ring instead of a computing gun sight like the Sperry K4. Lead and deflection are not calculated for the gunner by the gun side. 
The PB-4Y1s were drastically altered to become PB-4Y2 privateers during World War II. One vertical stabilizer was added to the Dash 1s in place of the two previously present, and the fuselage crown also received a top turret. The way station's solitary machine guns were replaced with Urco waste teardrop turrets by the privateers, who were outfitted with six twin 50 caliber turrets. Similar to the nose turrets, the PB-4Y2's teardrop turrets had a 55-degree arc travel. In 1945, they were employed in combat activities inside the Pacific Theater. The B-24s were rearmed with deck guns to counter German U-boats, and their weaponry was aimed forward to strafe U-boat crew members. Among the alterations were Dash 2 and the Maritime Patrol PB-4Y1, which were integral to the overall design of the B-24. In 1945, the PB-4Y2 started fighting in the Pacific Theater. Thanks for watching. To watch the video on evolution of aircraft turret guns during World War II, click the link on left. To watch why Soviet airplanes were painted white, click the link on the right. Don't forget to like, share, and comment.